Okay, um, let's do a little review of Vesper theory before we go any deeper into organic chemistry. Um, and again, this is a review, so it should be fairly, um, I don't know, straightforward for you when we start discussing it, okay? So remember hi H2, hydrogen. Hydrogen is a diatomic gas, and we know that um, not only because we've memorized it, but we can look at the periodic table and we know that hydrogen has the one electron, right? Each one of those hydrogen atoms has an electron. And are uh, atoms stable? How, how do atoms become stable again? Can you guys remind me? Yeah, they get a noble gas configuration, right? Or um, their whole valence shell is filled, right? That's another way of saying that. So, um, is hydrogen's valence shell filled if it's just a hydrogen atom? Uh-uh. How many electrons does it need? It needs two, right? So if we look at hydrogen, and I've got all, I just got all this information from the periodic table, right? Because hydrogen's in the, you know, for this leftmost row, right? So that means it's only got the one electron. And we know that neon, which is our helium, sorry. Helium is the noble gas that it's trying to be configured like. And helium has two electrons. So we know that hydrogen wants the one extra electron, okay? So remember, instead of one of these hydrogens giving up an electron and the other one taking it, what they'll do is share electrons. So you guys remember that, right? So that's called, do you guys remember what that's called, the sharing of electrons between two atoms? A covalent bond, yeah, very good. And you remember when we were doing Vesper theory how we kind of described it by showing arrows? We showed these things called fish hook arrows. They were the motion of one electron. Let's remember how to do that. Why don't you guys do that on your own? And I'll do it up here. So you like to show them meeting and meeting <coughs> each other. And then instead of, you know, a lot of times, especially in older literature, you'll see this kind of you know, representation of it. So you can think of it going from here to here to here. But now, nowadays we kind of skip over that and just say that that shared electron pair is this covalent bond. And we show that bond by a line in between those two atoms. Everybody's cool with that, right? You guys remember how to do that? Okay. So if we looked, right, we could build, and you can see I've got a few structures that I've already built here. Um, we got hydrogen here that I've built, the bond line structure of hydrogen, essentially, which is what we built there, right? That's the bond line structure. We learned that uh, nomenclature. Last time. Okay. So uh, we can show the molecular structure through molecular models, okay? so. That's hydrogen gas, and you can see I can turn it like that, I can turn it like that, it's still hydrogen, I can turn it around, okay? So, what I'm saying like that is, if I wanted to, I could have represented it like that, and it's the same molecule, okay? I'm just turned kind of on my head or on my side, or whatever. Okay, but that's the skeletal structure of hydrogen, so that's what it looks like, atoms and bonds, okay? But we can, uh, there's of course a bunch of different types of model sets and kits. And you can see here where the atoms are emphasized and not the bonds. Okay, here's a different type of model. And you can compare that to the last one I showed, which is like just the skeletal structure. Okay. And then there's of course these things called space building models, which if you wanted to think of what hydrogen really looked like, it's like this, okay? So it's just these two, you know, atoms that are kind of overlapping, okay? So what we would say is if we wanted to talk about the molecular um, geometry of hydrogen and any of these diatomic gases like 
fluorine, chlorine, bromine, it, nitrogen, etc. Um, they're all going to be linear. Okay. Why? Because of course their two atoms are in a line with each other. Okay. Um, if we ask bond angle, there's no bond angle here because it's you got to have go from a bond to a bond. And if you start here, there's no other bond. Is everybody cool with hydrogen? Can I kill this video? Are there any questions about this one? Okay, so this is essentially the easiest or the most simple structure you can build, I guess I should say. The most simple molecule that can be built. Okay? No questions?